Hello, my beautiful Super Avi Galaxy server. We are coming at you live with another tune kind of 12 FPS. Today is Gone to the Dogs. I am Marzi, and I'll be playing Leonardo Layton, and I'm joined by my lovely, inspirational, fucking talented co-host. Hey. Hi, I'm Avi, and I'm already putting dice in my mouth. <laughs> God, I wish that was me. <laughs> And, and, uh, today, <laughs> today I will be pl uh, playing, uh, your local real kind idiot detective boy, Shiro Zumi, <laughs> who you has been him. going through it. You know him, you love him, you want to punt him off of a bridge. And he's had an ongoing crisis since uh, a few months now. <laughs> <laughs> Homeboy's been having a crisis since the year of our lord, 2012. Anyway, <laughs> yes, I know I'm hilarious. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, any hoosies. Uh, yes. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Hello, Leo. Putting on my cream face, business boy face. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I can't take them. We're doing great so far. <laughs> oh, yeah. You expected an actual intro from me? Fool. It lasts until the radio voice goes away. I love that. Anyway. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, Leo. Uh, mm -hmm. It's been an interesting time in in uh, in Yeddo, uh, here in Okashima. How, how have you been lately? He's been doing pretty all right. Gets to do touristy things. Uh, mess around with his brothers. There's apparently something his uh, little twin brother hasn't told him, but that's fine. It's apparently not a bad thing, so that's fine. He's just playing tourist. He loves being a tourist. Don't we all? If, um, he, oh. if he had the money, which he does, he'd buy so many awful gaudy touristy things. <laughs> God. Anyway, so so you're just vibing. You probably got back to the hotel from mm. um you and Kevin Bear. Uh, I mean, you probably got back to the hotel from doing touristy things. Uh, and uh, as you're coming back up the uh to the floor that you're uh staying on. Would you like to roll me a quick, uh, Persepi? Oh, shit. Persepi. Not the greatest roll. <laughs> oh, dear. Uh... I forgot how to use Avre. Uh, it's a roll, d20, exclamation point. Like... Is this how I make it do math? No. No, uh, if you're doing math, it would be... Like that. Ah. Uh. Fourteen. Fourteen, yeah, that's enough. Um. Uh, you're probably, like, heading down the, uh, the hallway, and, uh, as you make a turn, uh, you see, um, a certain familiar, uh, real kind, um, uh, as he walks uh, uh, down the hall uh, in the direction you are facing, uh, and you see Azumi's back uh, retreating towards, um, I guess you could say, the stairwell? Hmm. Well, unfortunately for Azumi, my boy is both polite and also uh, dumb. Oh boy. So what Azumi hears behind him is, oh, hi, Mr. Azumi. <laughs> and, uh, Azumi stops and, uh, pauses and turns to look at you, um, and he says, oh, it's just you. Hi, Leo. Were you expecting someone else? Uh... And he, again, pauses and he says, no, it's 
fine. And he turns and starts to walk again. <laughs> Leo remembering what, uh, oh god, I don't want to say the wrong name. Uh, Yamazaki. <laughs> Yamazaki. <laughs> Remembering what Miss Yamazaki said about Azumi and dogs, he he kind of like half jogs to catch up with him and is like, no, wait, I have something to show you. And he kind of just pauses again and he says, what? Uh, so I met someone who says you really like dogs. And I mean, that's pretty rad because I have a dog. <laughs> And he kind of jazz hands at Cam and Bear. Uh, man, Sumi does not want to be rude, he, but he doesn't want to stay here. Oh, and, and, and he just says, I can see that. They also said, you might like some of the tricks that he could do. Uh, me trying to remember the commands from the Yamazaki FPS. Oh my fucking god. <laughs> it's, 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 it's fine. So very proudly, Leo turns to Camembert and is like, Camembert, let's groove. And Camembert stands up on his hind legs and hops in a circle. <laughs> Standing <laughs> Azumi is dragged into an impromptu dog show. <laughs> and Azumi kind of just watches for a moment. <laughs> and he's just he can dance. Yeah! There's a fucking face that is, is is the exact emotion that Leo is that I'm trying to find. Oh my god. <laughs> Take your time. <laughs> you know this face after uh in steven universe when steven says a pun and no one says anything after <laughs> that face <laughs> that's how leo is feeling right now And he, you see Azumi kind of just, uh, lean down to give, to, like, let Camembert sniff his hand. Camembert remembers this man's, they've met before. They sure have met before. <laughs> not that, not that Azumi knows that. <laughs> because they met when <laughs> it was Phantom L's dog. Yeah. Don't worry about that. This might be- Hey, this might be the FPS where it happened. Should I roll a fucking history for our man? Do it. It'd be really funny if it it's people find out because of Cave Bear and not because Leo doesn't know how to keep secrets. Alright, uh, guess what he got? Oh no. <laughs> Hang on. This dog looks really fucking familiar from the the brown spot over one eye to the bright red like handkerchief around his neck. This dog looks really fucking familiar. And it has the same name as that other dog. <laughs> and it's the same breed. Like, what are the ch- 
chances of that. <laughs> I think Azumi pauses as he kind of just gives a uh, camembert like a, a a quick chin scratch uh, before he stands back up and he looks over to Leo and he says, "I was about to make my way up to the roof. Would you like to come with me?" And he perks up, no longer that the feeling that that face has. <laughs> he's like, yeah, okay. Uh, and he's uh, going uh, to lead the way to the stairwell and uh, is going to climb all the way up. <laughs> oh god, Leo, are you okay after that? <laughs> it's probably not that uh, that high up. Probably not. And I mean, Leo does do a lot of free running, so he should be at least a little better at it. He's fine. Everything's fine. I won't roll. Fletcher would kill me. <laughs> I would kill you. <laughs> um, but the two of you eventually make it up to the, to the roof. And, um... He, uh, he, uh, looks around as if to make sure that there's nobody else here, and, uh, when you step, when you and Camembert step, uh, onto the roof fully, he closes the door behind, uh, behind him, and, uh, turns to face you. Azumi, this is just- this is a boy who is just that happy primrose emoji. This uh, cool. is a cream-faced business boy. Cool, and he's about to ruin it. Uh, he looks- <laughs> he looks at Leo and he says, Are you fucking stupid? Are you Phantom L? <laughs> <laughs> Hang on! You'll never fucking believe it! He got a nat fucking 20! Alright, hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> Look, even- Okay, that's hilarious. <laughs> even if- Even if he got a nat 20, he is not inclined to believe you. <laughs> <laughs> Which, by the way, he crit failed that insight. That's fucking hilarious. Yeah, no, Leo very smoothly, uh, because uh, apparently he's gotten better at fucking lying about this. <laughs> he can't let Juby make fun of him anymore. He's just like, no, isn't Phantomel full tune? This is Phantomel's dog. I think you'll find there are a lot of dogs. This is Phantomel's dog, who Phantomel has called uh, Camembert, with the same black, uh, same brown spot over his eye and the same red, red handkerchief around his neck. And you expect me to believe that that's entirely coincidence? I'm a big fan. You're a big fan with, who managed to get the exact same dog with the exact same design, with the exact same name and the exact same handkerchief. Your lie is starting to fall apart. I'm a very dedicated fan. Leo. Mm -hmm. Leo. Uh huh. If I have to hear another Phantom Thief tell me that they are a fan of their own Phantom Thief persona, <laughs> I will. I will flip off the handle, I swear to God. I can't let Juby make fun of me anymore! You <laughs> keep making fun of me whenever people find out, but it's not my fault! <laughs> it's not my fault! And Juby's gonna find out, and he's gonna tease me about it. You'll be like the tenth person who knows! Why didn't- why don't you just call Camembert something else when you're Phantom L? He doesn't like any other names. <laughs> We've tried. He really likes Camembert.
Azumi, I'm so sorry for Camille's crybaby brother. <laughs> tell Camille later that he made Leo cry because he found out that Leo is Phantom L because of Cannon Bear. <laughs> Leo is just so now Camille's gonna find out and he's been trying to tell me to change Cannon Bear's name but Cannon Bear won't respond to anything else. <sighs> he at least thought about taking the handkerchief off. You're poking his fingers together, but it makes us mad. <laughs> Leo! Yes. And Azuma just kind of rubs a hand against his face. And he says... I am a detective. I am a fucking good detective, mind you. But if I were anyone else, I would be inclined to arrest you right now. To over be fair, your, over your dog. To be fair, we aren't in Nyquil, so this is kind of out of your jurisdiction right now. If I were anyone else in Nyquil. <laughs> <laughs> but we're not, Nyquil! Besides, it's not like you're the only detective who knows about me. Yes, yes, Camille probably knows. Uh... Yeah, Camille knows. Dad knows. Uh, I, I, I don't know if Miss Moria knows. Usually with the real kind, it kind of takes something. Like camembert for them to figure it out. You are terrible at keeping this facade. I mean, I haven't been arrested yet. <laughs> you are worse than Arata, and he uh, worse than Satomi, and he has been arrested. Pretty sure he'd really get on my case if I ended up arrested. Besides, a lot of the policemen in I in Villstown are tunes and are really, really bad at it. Oh no, that's just a police thing, I'm sure. <laughs> Listen, I've been doing it for three years, I haven't been caught yet. That's not the point here. Leo, what if someone dangerous found out because of this? It wouldn't be the first time. Well, Leo, what the hell does <clears throat> that mean? Anyway, hey, Leo, uh... don't you dare change the subject. What does that mean? <laughs> you want to see another trick? <laughs> They're on the roof, they're not in the hallway anymore. <laughs> it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Yeah, they went up plus, to the roof. Uh, plus this is Yeto, who's gonna fucking know who Phantom L is. <laughs> yeah, no, there was a whole thing where he, like, takes Leo up the stairwell. <laughs> anyway. And he's just... Leo? Mm -hmm. I want you to look me in the face, and I want you to tell me a lie right now. Ah! Well, let's cut. Shit. Hang on. So I- what? Oh, there goes uh, one I... of our audience members. I rolled at disadvantage. <laughs> oh boy. And I mean, it's not bad because of his modifier, but it's still not great. It... <laughs> so what it is, is Leo, 
uh, squares his shoulders, looks Azumi in the eye for all of five seconds before he's kind of slouching and looking away like I definitely don't get shot at every month. Oh, you are terrible at this. <laughs> it's not like people talk directly to Phantom L. No, that is fair, but they do speak directly to Leo Layton, don't they? You're a barista. Only eight people found out directly from me. Directly from... Leo. <laughs> to be fair, to be fair, Juby didn't know until he found me as Phantomel and bullied me into missing a heist. And Mr. Airy found out kind of on his own because I stole his wallet once. And then I don't think Dr. Everlight actually knows, but she knows that I do crime. <laughs> Leo? Mm -hmm. It is some sort of God's damned miracle that you aren't behind bars right now. I think it's the two and a half. Might be the two and a half, yes. But by the gods, you need to stop doing that. Eight people. Maybe. Alright. Well. Do you remember that one time when we were at the festival and I told you to say something mean and you didn't do that? Mm hmm. Because you were too nice. To do that? I'm not too nice. Then say something mean right now. Say something mean to me right now. You, you, you dress like an old man and it's embarrassing to be with you. Is that really the but best you've got? <laughs> And when he says it, like, his head is down, and he's kind of, like, <laughs> his, like, shoulders are already hunched up. Like, he already feels bad. So I suppose lessons not only in being mean to someone, but lessons in lying are in order here. Why do I need lessons for that? Because eight people, Leo! <laughs> Listen. I think you should be the one who's listening. I just wanted to show you some dog tricks. <laughs> Miss Yamazaki said that you'd enjoy them. What? You meant Yamazaki-san! Yes? Azumi's just gonna put his head in his hands again, but he doesn't like it that way where he's just like in complete and utter disbelief and he just starts like pacing across the rooftop like <laughs> what in the hells I kind of ran into her because I got lost and now she's also threatening to feed me no she does that And he kind of just, there's probably, like, something he can sit on, and he just sits there, mm -hmm. and he looks like he's about to say something before he changes his mind and says, okay, fine, show me Camembert's tricks. Got it. Ah, <laughs> oh, Leo. Got 
God damn it. It's not great. <laughs> you know, it's not great, but he sure did just change the subject really quickly. <laughs> At the very least, recognizes that oh, Azumi's fucking exhausted with him. That is not. That's not a new thing. <laughs> so Leo, uh, <laughs> kind of rubs at the back of his neck before Jazz hands it to Cam and Bear again. <laughs> Will Smith pose. Yeah, because he's like. It's like, Cam and Bear, get down! And Cam and Bear lies on his stomach and rolls over. <laughs> there, okay. Are you going through, like, multiple different, like, tricks, uh, with Cam and Bear? Yeah, there's a uh, get down, which is roll over. There's a uh, two to tango, which is kind of like let's groove, but Leo holds a hand over Cam and Bear, who puts a paw against it and then sp like hop spins. Nice. <laughs> okay, here's the thing: Zumi doesn't emote much during this, but there is definitely a smile on his face. <laughs> And then after all the party trick ones, Leo's like, there's also another one that I kind of only use when I'm Phantom L, because I don't want Cam and Bear to, like, tackle you. <laughs> and Azumi races the brown, he's just, oh? Yeah, uh, did I, I, I'm gonna preface it and say that Cam and Bear and I met, uh, a year into me doing my nightly activities uh and he bit a bunch of policemen and it was awesome <laughs> that is certainly a good dog absolutely camembert is the best dog uh it but now we have an actual command for it oh fantastic <laughs> I feel like Azumi's gonna, like, reach a hand over to, like, uh, invite Camembert for more pets. Oh, yeah, Camembert. I mean, Camembert is, like, ever so slightly part emotional support animal. Aw. Like, not quite a service animal, but at the very least an emotional support animal. This is good. This is great. Yes. So, he he's also a toon dog, so it's fine. He, he kind of looks up at Leo, uh, who nods uh, before trotting over to Izumi, like, tail wagging a mile a minute. Uh, and you're getting pet. Lots and lots, uh, Kim Bear gets lots and lots and lots of pets. Hell yeah. Izumi's hand gets licked. <laughs> Fantastic. Leo was very proud of his dog. I don't know how else to say that, um... That, uh... Sumi really fucking likes this dog. <laughs> he is not- he does not stop petting! Good. Leo- Leo is very happy with this. He will hop over and kind of sit down, not directly next to Izumi, but like, close it up. Oh, god damn it, I'm being called. She knows I'm recording. Hang on, I'll be right back. Alright. Hi, audience. Yeah, Azumi is outside, which is what I needed him to do, because he needed to go outside. Man. <laughs> he's, he's just sitting there petting a the dog. Um, I forgot to turn on the rice cooker. <laughs> oh, oof. You good? 
it's fine. Uh, they're just, well, only one person's upset with me. Otherwise, it's whatever. But it's kind of funny. All right. <laughs> That feeling when you put the little rice pot full of rice in the rice cooker, but you don't turn it on. Oh, God. <laughs> anyway. 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 Uh. So, so you sit you sit next to uh, Azumi. Um, not directly, but, like, you're nearby. Mm. And Azumi is, Azumi is still petting her dog. <laughs> Leo is happy with this outcome. This is what he wanted after talking to Yamazaki. Uh, actually, I think what Azumi ends up saying after a moment is Yamazaki-san talked about me. Yeah. Hmm. And he kind of just nods at that uh, before he goes quiet again. I did ask if she has, like, a message to pass on. And... If I remember correctly, this is out of character. It was something along the lines of she wants him to be safe and that she misses him. Something along those lines? God, if I can remember. Man, no memory in here. Don't worry about it. It's cool. Yeah, Leo, uh, kind of just like, like, el like elbow on knee, his chin resting on his hand, is like, yeah. Uh, I asked if she had anything to pass on, and she really just said that she's hoping that you're okay, and that she misses talking to you. Uh... Zoe glances in your direction before glancing away. Do you want to roll a quick insight? <laughs> Come on, Leo, please. I'm begging you. Fucking are you kidding me?! Roll it again, roll it again. <laughs> please, it was a... Okay, this is really funny. Oh, his first roll was another three. However, <laughs> oh my God. okay, I didn't do that right, but you'll never fucking guess what he got after. Oh my God. <laughs> I got a fucking at twenty. <laughs> Which, I mean, it tracks considering he is the least emotionally constipated person in this family, aside from Timmy. This- this is fair. <laughs> but the way- the way Azumi kind of, like, glances in your, in your direction and then glances back, there is that sense of, like, oh, he is actually genuinely surprised by that? <laughs> but also, his- Face is turning a light shade of pink. <laughs> and, uh, he just says, I suppose I should talk with her sometime soon then. Now, see, Leo is pretty sure if he teases Azumi, Azumi will kill him. <laughs> That's why Yamazaki is the easier <laughs> uh, target. <laughs> So Leo kind of perks up and is like, yeah. She went on for a bit about how cool she thought you are. I... She thinks I'm cool. Yeah. And really nice. And like, she likes hanging out with you. She's also, I remember... Uh, we kind of bonded over, uh, family happenings. And you don't need to roll for that. Azumi is very aware of both sides. Yeah. And, uh, hmm. and Leo was like, and she said that she was glad that you were there for her when that happened. Okay, uh... You start talking about how she, uh, uh, what she thinks, uh, what she said she thinks of him, and, uh, there was a moment where, like, he was still petting Camembert, but, like, that petting kind of, like, slowed 
down a little before he kind of just picks himself back up and, like, continues giving Cam and Bear, like, ear scritches. You know the kind. Cam and Bear's getting so fucking spoiled. Yeah. I I'm sorry to say this detective just loves dogs. Uh, we love him. And, um, I think Azumi just ends up saying, um, well, she was obviously distraught, so it was only right to stay with her, I suppose. Mm-hmm. 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 <laughs> you want to roll it inside? <laughs> yeah. You're asking this man, this man, the myth, the legend? <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> And if I remember right, your insight is... God. High. It's high, yeah. Yeah, that's what it is. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, Leo, uh... Sure is, uh... Just, just nodding. Very neutral expression, just nodding. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. But, yeah, no. Leo's one of the people who knows... Azumi can be an asshole and is more often than not kind of an asshole. <laughs> yeah. And you can tell that Leo's like, uh huh, yeah, mm hmm. Just out of being a decent person. Mm hmm. I think after a moment, Azumi just kind of looks at Leo and just goes, What? Nothing. He raises a brow at you. Is that a roll roll? No, that was my, uh, my, uh, dice falling off my bed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, Leo's just like, no, oh, there's nothing, nothing at all. He's very pointedly not looking at Izumi now. <laughs> And he just kind of looks over at Leo. <laughs> oh, you little shit. I, I have never done anything wrong in my life, ever. <sighs> I don't know what you're talking about. Are you under the impression that there's something between us? Is that it? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Leo's just, I don't know, I mean, that's kind of your business, so like, I know, I don't know anything about your history or anything, so I mean, I don't know. Okay, that sure was a reaction, Azumi. Um, oh no! He, uh, reaches over and presses a hand down on the top of your head. Ah! And he says, do you want to say that again? Oh, Leo just handed me something mean. Oh? As he's trying to wrestle Azumi's hand off his head, there's just a kind of <laughs> Cam and Bear pig spotted. No oh, fuck! <laughs> Make me a deck save. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you did not need to flex that arm, buddy. <laughs> God! Yeah, no, uh, Leo 
<laughs> hands trying to shove at Azumi's hand chokes out a camembert pig spotted and um it he was kind of, the camembert was like sitting next to them and just like watching tail kind of just idly wagging and when leo says that he hops to his feet uh <laughs> and like jumps at azumi <laughs> Zoomy probably like jumps like right out of the way just in time. You're free now, but like Azumi's just kind of like staring for a moment before he's just well, that was surprisingly nasty of you. I'm kind of impressed. Well, he wasn't gonna actually bite you. <laughs> Well, he certainly got very close. And Leo now standing with Camembert between him and Izumi. And it's just... And I mean, like, listen, what is it any of my business that you and Miss Yamazaki are to each other? I mean... We aren't any... She's just a friend. Mm-hmm. There is nothing between us besides friendship. <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Leo very carefully keeping Camembert between him and Azumi. Do you have something you can throw at him, you dumbass <laughs> detective? Like <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, I forgot to- you yeah, the Cloak of Protection. Anyway. <laughs> I don't know, he probably has, like, uh, something from, like, his Explorer's Pack, I guess, and he just throws it at you. <laughs> Am I making a deck save? Or is that an attack roll? <laughs> you know what? Make a deck save. You got it. <laughs> it's my turn to fucking flex. Good. Yeah, you swiftly dodge out of the way. Hi, Maki. Hi, Maki. You know this is a dog FPS, not a cat FPS. <laughs> The fun thing about Leo is when he dodges things thrown at him, he kind of just does, like, a one-handed backflip. <laughs> like that scene in Rhythm Thief where Charlie kicks a ball at Raphael, he kind of, like, one-handed flips and, like, kicks it back. And Azumi is just, oh, you are just as overdramatic as Trickster, too. Listen, Phantomel is known as the dancing thief. What do you want from me? I want you to stop implying that there is something more between Yamazaki-san and I when there isn't. I've never done anything of the sort ever. He raises a brow at you, unimpressed. <laughs> Listen, all I said is that it's none of my business. So that's why I don't even worry about it. And he just kind of grumbles something under his breath. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, if I bring you up again to Miss Yamazaki, then that's my business. Oh, wait. Shut up! <laughs> he throws something <laughs> else at you. <laughs> In another one. <laughs> Not as grand, but he still dodges. He still dodges. It was closer this time. <laughs> oh no, Leo is finding that it's really, really fun to make fun of a zoomie. <laughs> 
And he's just gonna sit back down. He's just gonna sit back down and just kind of sigh. <laughs> Leo is just that colon D smiley face. <laughs> he doesn't sit down next to Zoom again, but he does kind of like trot over. <laughs> Azumi is fun, which is unfortunate for Azumi. <laughs> Azumi is fun, correct. It's unfortunate for him, but uh, fortunate for Leo. <laughs> Leo's having a great time. He's not dead yet, so. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, if you tell any of your brothers about this, I will kill you. I mean, you kind of had two shots then and there. Well, you haven't told them yet, have you? Leo slowly reaching into his pocket. <laughs> uh, hmm. Hmm. Wonder if I should sleight of hand it. Uh, I, I had something and then I got distracted because Maki almost bit me, <laughs> bitch. <laughs> oh, you're being cute now. Chirp. 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 Anyway. <laughs> and, uh, I, th I think what he says is just, oh. He kind of puts his head in his hands and he's just, okay, you know what? We're not talking about Yamazaki anymore. I've decided. We are changing the subject now. What do you want to talk about? Why did you teach Camembert all of these tricks? Uh, for fun, mostly. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't know. There are a few other ones, but, um, those aren't really verbal commands. No. Uh, yeah. I, um... So I might have had a hand in making up a language. Mm-hmm. And you see Azumi kind of raise a brow at that? Yeah. And, uh... And the other person who is also involved in making that language kind of disappeared for a while. Uh. And so I kind of, just to be able to use them, use that language, just use them as commands for Cam and Bear. Oh, like thieves can't then. Yeah. Mm. And, uh, Azumi just nods. So you use them when, uh, when you're out as Phantom L. Yeah. The, it, yeah, there's a few for scouting around. Few, God, what, Gizmo? Cat troubles in the middle of the dog FPS. <laughs> It's really funny that this is a dog FPS between two dog people when we both have cats. So yeah, Leo uh, does show off a few, uh, like with the couple of hand gestures, Camembert uh, 
Like, you know how on rooftops where the door is, there's, like, that little part that sticks up and the rest is flat? Yeah. Yeah, with a, with a quick couple of gestures, Camembert is running over to the spot where the door is, uh, and, like, beh- like, sniffing at the door, like, very intently before turning back to Leo and, uh, like, raising... Raising one paw like he's about to give a high five. Aww. And Leo nods and is like, yep, that means the coast is clear. Oh, but yeah, uh... If, uh, if you want to make a history... Yeah. Okay. I'd have that song stuck in my head now. You're welcome. I'll kill you. No, yeah, Azumi has seen these signs before. Yeah, he's seen uh, Camille do them, hasn't he? Mm-hmm. Alright, he's pocketing that, pocketing that info- information for later. <laughs> just just a cute little uh, twins, twinsy thing. You know about twins and making up their own languages. Apps. Uh, well, he doesn't really, but yeah. Well, he doesn't really, but you know. <laughs> the audience knows. He, I think he just chalks it up as, like, sibling shenanigans, at the very least. Mm. He knows at the very least that uh, Yamizaki-san was really close to her sister, and they would probably do something like that. <laughs> If Izumi had a nickel for every time he met a pair of twins who have apparently made up their own language. <laughs> to be fair, Yam- was he- the Yamazakis aren't twins. One of them is older than the other by uh, a year. Oh, are they not twins? I thought they were twins. They were oh, not shit. twins. I was so sure they were twins. <laughs> no, they- there is one that is uh, older than the other. <laughs> Wild. Never mind then. And, uh, I think Azumi, Azumi really wants to start petting the dog again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Camber pads back over and Leo gives him a pet pet. And, uh, he does settle down, uh, in between Leo and Azumi. I think Azumi just kind of says, well, he's very intelligent. Mm-hmm. You never guess that I kind of met him on the street. So you trained him himself? Mm hmm. Well, I mean, the biting police officers is kind of all him, but other than that, yeah, mostly. <laughs> Alright. Sorry, they're playing with the baby outside. <laughs> yeah, I can hear. Um, Asumi wants to pet the dog again, but he hasn't reached out yet. <laughs> Gonna make an insight. God damn it! These dice are loaded. Hang on, I'm using my other fucking d20 because that was another three. God. There we go. <laughs> Dirty 20. Oh, yeah. Azumi really wants to pet your dog again. He likes <laughs> petting your dog. <laughs> there's a there's another uh, small gesture that Leo kind of makes before Cayman Bear uh, is up on his feet, does a little stretch, and then pads over to Azumi. Azumi just gives uh, Cayman Bear scritches behind the ears. He's a very smart boy. He's a very smart boy. This family, we are love Camembert. Uh, I think very, very quietly you can hear uh, Azumi just say, Good boy. Boy. I love Azumi so much. He, like, stop! 
dogs, what can I say? I know this and I love him. Yeah, Leo Leo was just feeling relaxed and glad that he was able to show Azumi <laughs> Camembert and all of his tricks. He kinda just like sprawls out on the floor of the roof. Just looking up. He's vibing. It's vibe time. I think you might just hear Azumi like kind of talk to a uh, camembert. <laughs> just very, very quietly. And, like, I think you like might even hear him say something along the lines of, I would give you treats if I had any, but I don't. <laughs> Where's my D10? <laughs> oh no, did I lose one of them? No! Oh fuck, hang on, is it still in the bag? I swear I had two of these percentile dice. Where's the fuck? Nope, it was still in the bag. Crisis averted! Alright, let's see how Hammer's face will treat Leo today. Fumble. 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 That's a five. I don't remember what we upped it to. Fletcher, what was there? What was there fumbling yet again? <laughs> Like, you, was it like a. You had a six, a six or a seven. Alright, one to five is fumble. Okay. You got it! <laughs> that was a two. He pulls out uh, sheet music. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a pause. He's just like, oh man, I don't even play the violin. <laughs> As he folds it back up and puts it back in the same space. He's like, hang on, I got this. <laughs> that was a three! Uh, and he pulls out half a stack of mystery novels on <coughs> some of the pages. Oh, oh my god. Okay. Some of, the, some of the pages are a little charred, and he pauses before very gently putting those back in his hammer space, and he's like, he, he kind of like looks up at his zoom and he's like, I swear I got this, hang on. <laughs> Zumi's watching quietly while still petting Camembert. And <laughs> Leo pulls out a froggy watch. Yeah. <laughs> As he sighs, puts it on, and is like, hang on. <laughs> okay, thank goodness that was a nine. <laughs> okay. And he pulls out a bag of treats. And he's very tiredly like, oh, I hate the hammer's face here in Yaddo. I hate it. It's different. Yeah, it probably wouldn't be for a full tune, but. Mm, I see. And he sits back up and hands the bag over to Azumi. He just kind of looks at it for a moment before he tentatively takes it and then, you know. Reaches in and uh, offers a treat to a uh, camembert. Camembert very happily and greedily just like gobbles it up. <laughs> Why you merp? We're talking about dogs. <laughs> and Azumi doesn't want to like spoil camembert too much, so he's probably gonna hand the bag back to Leo and just. <laughs> Keep giving camembert pets. <laughs> Leo takes the bag back and shoves it back in his hammer's face and is like, at least you don't spoil him. Everyone else in the house does. <laughs> oh, he's not my dog. I feel like that would be rude. Why are you meowing? <laughs> Meow. He sounds so upset, but he's literally just standing there. He's upset because you're not giving him attention. 
Are you upset that I'm talking about dogs when I have two cats right here, you asshole? <laughs> Yeah, this little kitty. <laughs> it's just a dumb little asshole. Ooh. And Leo lies back down and is like, well, that's more sense than my brothers have. <laughs> Don't rub your face against my fucking sofa. <laughs> No, it's my mic! <laughs> Stop! Me when Baki rubs her face against the mic. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, and um. Gosh, so he just likes this dog. I don't know how <laughs> else to say that currently his mindset is just, oh, doggy. <laughs> doggy. Doggy. <laughs> Bond through dog. Oh god, Angel! Angel's like now standing on me and putting his face against mine. <laughs> cat troubles, cat crimes. Cat, cat crimes. It Eddie is Hoosies. cat time for the cat crimes. <laughs> Everything's fine. Oh, that's hilarious. Hang on. Azumi kind of like, uh, during this like little moment of silence, kind of squishes, uh, Kama Bear's, uh, cheeks and looks to <laughs> Leo and says, This is the face of a canine who has never bitten a police officer ever. <laughs> Leo, Leo snorts and nods and is like, Yep, he is completely innocent of all crimes ever. No crimes are ever committed, not even in his vicinity. He has never done anything wrong in his life, ever. <laughs> he and I are exactly the same, not a single crime. Your crime is being too nice for your own good. <laughs> no! Yes. I'm not too nice! Do I need to ask you to say something insulting to me right now, again? I almost got Camembert to bite you. <laughs> well, yes, and you do get points for that, but... Also, you tried to insult me and couldn't keep a straight face? I don't know, I don't really have any reason to insult you. Not many oh my people God. would agree with that. Anyway. <laughs> Sorry, Angel's so fucking stupid. He's sitting on my lap halfway under my desk and he tried to look up and he like banged his head <laughs> against my fucking desk. He's fine, but god it was fucking funny. <laughs> oh my god, that was gonna be my question. Is he okay? <laughs> he's fine, he's fine. <laughs> but god it was really fucking funny. Like it wasn't even like a hard bang, it was like a little tap, but he, he like startled himself. <laughs> My cat is not smart. Anyway. <laughs> is Leo within arm's reach? Maybe. Azumi just- Okay, Azumi puts a hand on Leo's head. Uh. <laughs> and he also gives him, like, a pat. <sighs> and he's just- It's alright. I can teach you how to insult someone later. <laughs> I'm- I don't need insulting lessons, and I'm not a dog! <laughs> As he kind of, like, flails at Azumi's hand. <laughs> he does move it off this time. <laughs> and then pa gives your head one last pat before moving back. <laughs> Leo's just pouting at him. <laughs> this is the face of a smug asshole. <laughs> Congrats, you smug asshole. You've gained another little brother, you bitch. <laughs> it's really funny that we talk about mirrors, because this is basically how Juby treats Leo. <laughs> <laughs> Just with, with less insults. It's because 
guess Azumi doesn't want to insult Leo? Yet? Yet. Leo's just, I can be mean. I mean to Camille all the time. He's your brother, you have a right to that. Maybe so. God, my other cat is scratching at my fucking door. I'm so sorry if you can hear him. Oh, it's fine. And I think Azumi's just- uh, I think Azumi just actually, like, takes a moment and he says, Is Camille doing alright, by the way? I haven't seen him today. He was worried about you. Mm. He thinks you're pretty cool, too, so. I know. But he's doing better. He's kind of shifted into mystery solving mode, so. Right. Because of the case currently, yes? Mm hmm. Alright. I'd help out with it, but any kind of gestures. Oh, yes. The great Phantom L can't be seen helping out a bunch of detectives, except he's already been in that position. No, that's not why. <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> I'm not the one who was raised by a detective. I was kind of raised by a classical painter, so... Oh. Well, if I had a nickel... <laughs> Huh? One of Satomi's closer friends, well, his boyfriend actually, was also raised by an artist. Oh! That one! <laughs> yes. Yeah, have you met him? Got... Uh, no. I haven't met a lot of Arata's friends, I don't think. Hmm. Unfortunately for you, that might change soon. Unfortunately? There are many friends. And they are all their own brand of chaotic. I mean, I am half tuned. It's kind of what we deal with. Like, man, I cannot tell you about all of the things that happened back in Villestown. He raises a brow. Like the whole unmaking sandwiches debacle. Excuse me? <laughs> yeah, Juby apparently has this power where he can like revert time on objects and he likes to bully Yuto and Yuto apparently had a sandwich and Juby decided to unmake the sandwich. This is hilarious because Azumi doesn't know who Yuto is. <laughs> All Azumi knows is that Juby <laughs> apparently was bullying this kid Yuto and unmade a sandwich. And he's just... That does seem like something Yukon would do. <laughs> yeah. He does it to Yuto a lot. I'm Ow! To... I'm going to pretend that I know who that is. <laughs> oh, uh, almost had Leo say he's my phantom thief friend. Can't do that. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. Leo's just oh, he's he's a really close friend of mine. Uh, horrendous taste in coffee. Awful, terrible. Uh oh, he's the one who actually made this watch, and he holds up the wrist that he put the froggy watch on. Oh, he makes uh blah 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 blah. He's a clockmaker. Mhm. Mm he has his own repair shop down in Villestown. Mm. And he kind of just nods. He doesn't know what to do with that information, but he knows now. 
It is a nice watch. It is pretty good. I think actually this also was a part of Juby bullying Kim. I think he stole one. Ugh. Juby really likes bullying Ito. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I think Jub uh, I think Yukon likes to bully quite a few people. Yeah. <sighs> Though he shuts up real quick whenever I remember that he is light enough for me to lift over my head. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's half UPA and and those and UPA and tunes are usually close on the two D sides, so they are easier to lift up. I think I'm more so impressed that you're able to lift that, um... God, what's the term? Are you really gonna call him that? Okay. Um, I I'm really more so impressed that you're able to lift that flagpole of a man. Oh, because he's tall? Well, I mean, I've done it before. And does Izumi want to make me a uh, perception with his disgusting modifiers? Yep. Okay. Oh, Discord, please don't crash. Okay, there we go. Yeah, you, they, they were at that festival together. And Azumi knows that Leo has like a lean muscle because of that that lying game. Oh yeah, but no, like, he absolutely knows that. Yeah, he knows that. But like, even with like, even with Juby being like apparently very light, it's weird to think about someone scrawny like Leo carrying Juby. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Leo is just so very scrawny. And he's, uh, and I think Azumi kind of leans forward, kind of like looking Leo up and down for a bit. And he's got this like overdramatic hand on his chin as he thinks, and he's, and then like after a very long moment of silence, he's just, you know. I think Yamazaki-san is right to threaten to feed you. And Leo groans so loudly as he throws himself back on the ground again like, No, I already have Arata and Aunt Lin and Minami. I don't need any more people giving me food. Then it should be no problem for you to eat a regular meal then. I eat regular meals? How many a day? Like, the recommended three? And he, uh, raises a brow and he says, Do you eat enough to, uh... God, are you you're really gonna make me- force me to say some nerd shit, are you? <laughs> I'm sorry our nerds are interacting, Avi. And he says, do you eat enough to, um, to recompense the energy you expend during, when you run a heist? You learn all of that from Miss Yamazaki. Wait, say that again? <laughs> Leo was basically like, oh, did you learn stuff like that from Miss Yamazaki? <laughs> no, she has a point. Uh, regardless of me talking to her. Because parkour happens to expend quite a bit of energy. Listen, I'm fine. Everyone just worries too much. <laughs> You're telling me. Anyway. I think you might have to take up their offer and eat a little more. Especially for your moonlight activities. Leo huffs. He kind of does that <laughs> petulant teenager thing of just rolling around on the ground. 
Don't huff at me, young man. <laughs> You're not even that much older than me! You're the one who said I dressed like an old man. Well, that's your choice and your problem with your dumb fashion sense. <laughs> <laughs> At least when I wear sweater vests, it's because I'm a hipster and I'm at least following some sort of fashion sense. This is a fashion sense. It's business casual. For old people. Shut the hell your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Make me with your dumb clothes. Uh, he takes off his jacket and throws it on your face. <laughs> <laughs> Leo scrambles up and is like, ha, joke's on you, and puts the jacket on. So he's now wearing, like, the long coat, and his cardigan, <laughs> and his dress shirt. Are you really going to tell me that you're, uh, you're more fashionably sensitive when you're wearing that? <laughs> I'm not the one who wears it almost every day. No, I meant in conjunction with your cardigan. Leo buttons the coat up and it's like, <laughs> and it's, like <laughs> it's probably oh, like yeah. a size too big on him too because like Azumi oh, is yeah. <laughs> oh definitely it is but like Leo has decided to button it up uh, as far as he can reach uh, and is and uh, very dramatically puts a hand up to his chin and is like ah oh, yes me <laughs> Azumi Shiro best detective in Yeto. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Azumi, this is the most playful you've been in, like, ages. Hang on. And he just- Dabs. Leo is very naturally endearing. <laughs> and, uh, Azumi just, uh... God, I really want to get him the actor feat later. But, uh, I think- I think, uh, what he says, uh, is, um, oh yes, and I am the, uh, fabulous Phantom L, who manages to dance away from the authorities every full moon. Watch me as I, I don't know, steal priceless paintings. I guess you remembered, uh, Leo has the actor feet. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he does have the actor feet. As Azumi hears, uh, uh, parroted at him perfectly in his voice. <laughs> Stop right where you are, Phantom L! <laughs> <laughs> I resent that you would think that I would... Six. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me actually think about what he says. Hang on. <laughs> I resent that you would compare me to to a police officer like that. It's still uh, in Azumi's voice. Leo's just. You're right. You're right. Uh, I could make you say other things. You're not making me saying things. You're saying things in a minute. Mimicry of my voice. There is a difference. But who's, who's gonna believe me in a phone call where they can't see our faces? Oh, you. Don't you fucking dare. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, Mizaki saw. <laughs> uh. Make an acrobatics check! <laughs> acrobatics or athletics? Uh. <laughs> okay. I just remembered that he has the fucking gauntlets of- uh, god. <laughs> so that means his modify- okay. <laughs> oh no. Damn! Shit! <laughs> they were so close! He, like, basically just tackles you. <laughs> <laughs> There's like a choked screech. <laughs> I feel like that's a fantastic place to leave. 
<laughs> just just Azumi gets tackled. No, Azumi tackles uh, Leo, and <laughs> and there's just a uh, uh, the freeze the freeze frame, and it's just <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> To be continued. <laughs> the roundabout roundabout starts playing. <laughs> oh, I love them. Haha, Zumi. <laughs> I hand Zumi a boy who's naturally endearing. Oh, he sure is. He can't say no to this boy. <laughs> he got really close to saying no at at, at the beginning. <laughs> <laughs> but then he saw the dog and he was like, oh, I can't say no. There's a dog. <laughs> I can't say no, there's a dog. And now it's, oh, fuck, I can't say no. <laughs> <Yeah>. Anyway. <laughs> Thank you, Marcy, for playing with me. <laughs> yeah, I'm so fucking glad we finally got to have another Leo Izumi FPS. Me too. <laughs> I love them, Your Honor. Uh... And uh, thank you so much to our audience for listening in both now and in the future. For now, we will bid you a good time zone. Bye! Bye!